Good evening. It always amazes me what people have tucked away, hidden uh, upstairs in the attic or in a special place in the house or even in the garden shed. And my friend uh, Billy, and I know several Billies, but this one has come up with something special. He uh, phoned me some days ago to tell me that he had uh, found uh, 32 glass negatives of uh, and they, they made together they made up a, a, uh, an amazing collection of um, old photographs of old national schools and from one of the glass uh, negatives we can see that these uh, photographs were taken by uh, in in uh, in and around 1903 and they were taken by a chap called a r hogg now i believe that a r hogg was a leading photographer in Belfast at that particular time and he's, he's uh, I believe he's well known in uh, photographic circles. Um, so we've got 32 of these old national school uh, buildings and some of them include youngsters uh, with their teachers and some of them um, have got uh, photographs of inside the national school as well um, so these are absolutely brilliant um, uh, social history documents visual documents uh, telling us you know a wee bit about what life was like back then and i would imagine yes all of these old national schools will have closed um, and I would imagine that the vast majority of the actual buildings will have been demolished and no longer there. Uh, and I would imagine even some of the streets that they were built on will have been demolished as well um, through, you know, new roads coming through and what have you. So these are these that have been found are really really uh, important um, uh, social uh, documents social history and I'm gonna go th through each of them and uh, I'll try and say as little as possible I'm going to use um, this glass um, and it's got a light underneath it and I'm going to try and uh, shine it through uh, each negative uh, as it comes along. So I hope you enjoy this little light show. I'm going to turn off the lights, the main lights now. This first one is May Street National School. And I presume it was sited somewhere uh, behind the City Hall. This slide, or I'm going to call them slides, is also May Street uh, National School. So maybe this is an, an adjoining building or, or this is maybe a previous building. I, I just don't know. This is Eliza Street National School and quite a number of the, uh, the youngsters are out the front door. This is Drew Memorial National School.
Conway Street National School. Again, youngsters included. Interesting windows. And it looks almost like a bell tower. Maybe to call the, the kids to school. Oddly shaped building, this one. This is Perth Street National School. Cobbles, cobbled streets, rounded ground floor windows. Jerry Mount. National School again with the rounded uh, windows and again with youngsters appearing outside the front door. This is York Road National School and uh, a horse the right hand side appearing and uh, whitewashed house to the right and it says above the entrance if I can just read that York my eyesight isn't so good York Street Flax Milling Milling Oh dear York Street Flax Spinning Co York Road Mills Yeah Not brilliant of the horse the cart And I can't read what it says in here, maybe that's the entrance door. Mm -hmm. This is Montgomery National School. Again, there, there's a cart over to the right hand side, I think. And youngsters out the front, cobbles there in the foreground yeah quite an imposing building with that tower this is Snugville National School I think, let's see if I can see the notice board. Ah. Mm. Now it's going, going fuzzy on me. A lot of youngsters in the picture there. Sort of wee pinafores that are coming, as you've seen quite often. And again, cobbles. Can't quite tell whether the youngsters are wearing shoes on their feet because they the more I zoom in then it uh, goes fuzzy and I lose focus this is Great George National School are those children barefoot? I think they are
This is Ashmore National School. And I'm noticing that there, there's a great deal of variation in the architecture of these schools. No, it's really no two schools were built in the same way, in the same manner, in the same style. Which I find, uh, find strange. This is Blackstaff National School. Is somebody saluting at the back there? Or just waving? This is D Street National School. I'm just looking at this and I'm wondering are any of these old buildings still there? And what is that that the boys are standing at or standing on? Just at the corner here. Is that an old pump? Don't know. What's that face to the to the right hand side? Large face. Or is it? it's not a it's not a face. It's a child standing. And there isn't much variation in dress amongst the children. This is, this is Hemsworth Street National School and again a totally different uh, style of building and the cobbles out the front again. And all of these uh, old national schools, I presume, would have been built by churches. This is St. Joseph's National School. It's like a big blockhouse. And this is McCrory National School. You say the gas lamp and the railings, and it looks like a tin hut, a sort of prefab. So maybe sited in a less salubrious area. I don't know. Always, um, you can see the colours worn by the, the, the young lads there. 